I feel like the common thread here is change and the kinds of social change that's necessary, whether it's the gatekeepers who don't put black folks on the runway or who don't write about black folks in the magazines, the, the image production, the history, Kololo, you know, the stories that are just so many stories, whether it's about culinary arts, about fashion, so many stories that aren't being told about black folks, uh, all the gatekeepers. So it seems to me that we're talking about change. How does that change occur? And I guess I'm curious because I, talking to so many folks, I feel like uh, this whole idea of intention, like if you looked at your white colleagues and friends, how many of them do you think are like progressive, but they don't really know because it's not on their radar, the extent of this, or um, they don't have a negative intention but somebody's, whether they intentionally put all white models on a runway or unintentionally put all white models on a runway, just do all white models on a runway. So the question is, how do we, I'm a white man. My wife is to me, she would be. So, so, but I want to be an ally as a human being and an ally. So it's like, how do we get the white folks who are progressive and, and your colleagues who, who are the gatekeepers, who aren't intentionally, you know, we have some who are prejudiced, you know, but the ones who aren't prejudiced, prejudiced how do we get those folks with, without going to make them feel like, I swear I'm not a racist. You know, like, we're all so defensive, but we let them know you have power to be my colleague and my friend and my ally, you have in your hand the power to tell your other friend who's a gatekeeper and a friend of a gatekeeper and an uncle of a gatekeeper to say, hey, guess what, let's put a couple black folks in here. Let's put this beautiful African-American woman in this show or in this magazine or this little girl who's gonna see that image. So that, that's an untapped resource because all these white folks would love to have, do it. They don't even know what to do. They don't even know what's, what they're supposed to say because they're afraid they're gonna say something wrong and be told they're like clueless or whatever. So my question to you all is, in your world, how many white friends and colleagues do you think you have who might be progressive, who might be not wanting to keep folks down, but have no way to engage, that could become an ally to make this change that's so necessary? Exactly. Thank you so much for saying that, because I did make an appeal to the celebrities that are on the covers of the magazines and in the pages of the magazines. Not only the, the white celebrities, but also the black celebrities. You know, we need you, know, we need you liberals <laughs> to speak up on our behalf. The Angelina Jolies and, the, you know, and, and, and all of these people that speak up for the injustices that are happening in the world. And now when you see something that's not right, you know, it's always the right time to do something right. And thank you so much for um, the, saying what you said so elegantly, because sometimes people are oblivious to what they're doing, and then sometimes they just need a little prodding from um, our colleagues, white and black. And this, I think the actresses and the celebrities would be a great starting point, don't you? I won't wear your dress on that red carpet when a Quattro says to um, ex us uh, um, designer. Unless you, unless I see some women of color in your show, I think that'll be very powerful. So I'm putting that out there to all the bloggers, young men, the one. Who